I'm making a list. You know what we need back? There he is. Somewhere in here. Now there's a dad who comes in handy with these boys we love and know. See, there's Carter, Jason, and Jaden. Watch this mommy host the show. It's the Daily Davis and Sean. up guys y'all do the holidays make you like really tired like i don't know what day it is we have just been chilling all day we woke up tj made breakfast the house, the kitchen is still like a little bit messy from <laughs> breakfast and then i i uh watched a movie with carter and then i uh, took another nap carter is taking a nap now and now i'm back up and i'm getting ready to make some lunch i'm gonna kind of make my blue apron box but before i start that i need to clean up our mess from <laughs> from breakfast because we still got stuff out so i'm gonna clean that up before i make another mess but yeah like do the holidays like make you like like just just exhausted i don't know what's going on you guys but i hope y'all are having a great day hope y'all had a great week new year's coming up i'm excited about it because 2017 was really crappy for me <laughs> so i'm just hoping and praying that 2018 is a wonderful year for everybody so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and clean up and then i'm gonna make my blue apron meal and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna what i'm making jalapenos you get some black olives too please black olives we got some in there okay. tortillas cheese sour cream black beans red onions Pico de gallo. Just cross those out to get it. Coach salt, diced tomatoes, cilantro, chicken, lime, and jalapeno. You also need apple juice. Apple juice. Okay. And Don't be adding stuff to the list. Don't be adding stuff. Um, bananas. If you have we don't need no banana. We need bananas. Okay. We need bananas. There's, there's bananas. There's no bananas. Okay. Alrighty, cleaned up. Now I'm ready to make some lunch. I got my Blue Apron box right here. So shout out to them for sponsoring this video, but if you haven't heard of Blue Apron, Blue Apron sends you chef-designed meals straight to your door. They send it in like a refrigerated box so everything stays fresh. They send you all fresh ingredients. So if you have like a New Year's resolution to cook more at home, this is perfect for you because you don't have to go to the grocery store or anything. And also, Blue Apron is partnering with Whole30. So for eight weeks in January and February, they're, um, they're gonna have Whole30 compliant meals. So if you have like goals of like eating healthy then definitely check that out so i'm gonna show you guys what's in my blue apron box so they send you a recipe and you can choose from like a two-person plan or a family plan and these are the meals that i have this time i've got ooh, how do you say that bucatini and tomato sauce with roasted broccoli so they show you a picture of it and it shows you all the ingredients that you need for it and then it shows you step by step how to make it we also have baked coconut curry chicken. Oh, I love curry. Y'all know I love me some curry. That looks really good. And then we also have beef ragu and whole grain pasta. And that looks really awesome too. And then inside my refrigerated box, I've got like all of the fresh ingredients. We've got some, that looks like kale. Yep, kale. We also have what, bell peppers. Uh, what else? Some tomato sauce. We've got some pasta. And then more veggies for the other meals. Uh, some jasmine rice. And then in here, this this is our knickknacks. And we have knickknacks for each of the recipes. So the knickknacks are like the seasonings and everything that goes with it. And that's what's in here. And they send you just enough for whatever plan you choose. So if you choose a two person plan, they're gonna send you just the amount of ingredients for two people so that nothing goes to waste. If any of you guys wanna try out Blue Apron, the first 50 people that click on the link in the description box will get three meals off of their first Blue Apron order for free. So definitely check out that link, only the first 50 people. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and make one of these meals. I don't know which one I'm gonna make yet. Which one do you guys think I should make? 
I think it's between the baked chicken and the bucatini. I'm gonna figure that out, but I'll show you guys how I make it once I figure out which one I'm gonna make. Okay, so I decided to go with this one, but I need to make sure that I'm saying it right. So I'm gonna get on YouTube because that's where I always go when I don't know how to say it, pronounce something. I said, I said bucatini, but I don't know if that's right. Let's see. Bucatini. Ah, that's right. Bucatini. Bucatini, okay. So I'm saying it right. So I'm making lunch and he's already preparing for dinner. Like the holidays is just all about eating and chilling. We're eating, we're making our meal, and we're already thinking about our next meal. But that's all we've been doing is eating. Anyways, um, all right, I've got my spaghetti, or not my spaghetti, my bucatini noodles in here. Uh, it's fogging up the camera. And then I've got, I chopped up my broccoli and I put some olive oil on it, and I'm getting ready to put it in the oven. I had to preheat the oven to 450. So put these in here for 20 minutes. Cook time. All right, next I took the pit out of the black olives and now I'm going to get out of here. Now I'm going to shred, or no, grate the cheese into small, on the small side of a box grater. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, I got my sauce going. This is the tomatoes, the capers, the olives, garlic. All mixed together. I'm gonna cook this for a couple minutes. And then I'm going to add my pasta to it in butter, and then hopefully the broccoli will be done too, and then I can add that in it. Alrighty, I added everything. This looks pretty pretty good. I've never had broccoli and pasta, but I'm always open to trying new things, and it looks really yummy. So, time to try it. Okay, this is it plated. It looks so good, but it's like super duper hot, so I have to. I'm waiting for it to cool down. Look at the seam. So I'm gonna wait a minute, but yeah, you guys definitely check out Blue Apron. Again, click the link in the description box for the first 50 people will get three free meals off the Blue Apron order. And they also have eight meals that you can choose from instead of six now. So definitely check it out, you guys. Um, okay, let me try to taste this because I really want. What I really want to. I'm really like, I really love pasta. Pasta is like my favorite. Chance to get it for me. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That pasta is really, really good. Like I feel like, like I feel like a chef. Like I legit feel like, like I really chefed it up, y'all. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna finish my lunch and I'm gonna talk to you guys in a little bit. Some of y'all will be so proud of me. I have a whole entire car in my garage. Y'all see that? Look, see? Y'all see it, right? Look. It's good. So yesterday we had a great time. We went out and we had a date night with uh, two other couples, two of our friends, four of our friends. Four, yeah, two couples, four four people yeah we had a great time man it was fun we went out to uh to an escape room we broke out and we uh we enjoyed ourselves we did that and then we went to this place called Sedona Tap House and that's where this nacho thing comes in that's what the list is all about that's what I'm going to get we had these nachos from this place and it was incredible really good so we're trying to recreate it we do this a lot. Every time we go somewhere, we fall in love with some recipe and we'll be like, let's let's try it. It's just, we have a day after day after day. It was that good. Did you have a good nap? Come here. Come. Come, come. Come, come. Oh, oh, my hair's in your head. Did you have a good nap? Uh, uh. Hmm? Uh, uh. You didn't have a good nap? Uh, I think you did. Uh, uh. You did have a good nap. No. Yes, you did. Uh, you want some pasta? Uh, pasta. Pasta? 
Bucca. Can you say, can you say Bucatini? No. No? Okay, well, that's what you're gonna try. Wait now, you want some? That's the wrong light. Oh, there we go. You ready to try some? No. Try some Bucatini? No. Whoops, dropped a piece. <laughs> try it. Here. You're not hungry? No. You're not hungry? Okay. Normally he's open to trying trying things, but he's not hungry right now. You just want some juice, don't you? You want juice? Juice. Carter, Carter. Huh? What you doing? Huh? Guys, I just I just gave him a bath, like bath. just not a, not even a couple minutes ago. And he goes and plays in the room with Jaden. And apparently Jaden went in my drawer and got a pen and decided to give him an arm tattoo. Let me see your tattoo, Carter. Let me see. He drew a person. And I don't know what that is. It looks like the person is running away from something. What is that? An R. It looks like an R. Is he trying to write your name somewhere? Why why did you let Jane give you a tattoo? Why'd you let him give you a tattoo? Why did you let him? Jaden did it? Yeah, I know it. Um, TJ is back from the store. He's now cooking dinner for me and him. The boys already ate. They just ate some Chipotle. Did you like your Chipotle? What? So he's, he's making, he's trying to make these nachos that we ate last night. We, we uh, where do we go? We went to a restaurant called Sedona Tap House after we went to escape room with our friend, our friends. But the nachos that we have are really, really good. So he's trying to make, he's trying to like do, do remake of them. So that's what's going on right now. And I'm just hanging out over here with Carter Carter. He's trying to say Blue's Clues in the remote to turn it off. You gotta do <laughs> Blue's Clues on. Yeah. You're silly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, here they are. Plating is half the battle, though. I'm gonna cut them into some uh, little nacho shapes. TJ made these nachos. You want some? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. You turn the light on? Yummy. All right, I gotta get you one without jalapenos because it's gonna spice, spicy. Hold on. Do you want more? He likes it. Ah. Does it look close to what we had? It does. Good. So my dad sent me a video <laughs> of me when I was a little boy. Mommy! Daddy! <laughs> so this is me when I was a little boy. I'm going to play it for you. Carter, do I look like you? Who's the baby on the video? Who's the baby? Huh? Who's, Who's the, baby the baby on the, on the video? video? We asked him and he said Carter. He thought it was him. <laughs> why why are you silly? Alright, ready? Come on, stand up. Jump on the line to play. Okay. Hot line. They're playing a hot lime. A version of hot potato, but with a lime. You know they can't catch? I know. They're going to all lose every time. Oh. It's okay. Oh. Jaden. What in the world, child? Oh, you're so dramatic. 
Oh, you're so dramatic. Jaden. It was the fireplace. Come here, Jaden. What did you what did you write on your brother's arm? Uh I made a person running. Running then, from what? Why is he running? What is he running from? He was having a race. With who? What is this? Uh that's like speed. That's <laughs> very sad. So that's that's he his his death. Let him run it fast. Okay. Mommy will okay. look that You never know did you ever know you could draw a speed? Says, this says <laughs> yes. parent picked up. Oh, Okay, that's what Jaden put on you. Pee pee for parent pickup. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is on Carter's? Why did you put an R on his hand? Hmm? You put an R on his on his hand. What does that mean? Uh, route. Route. And then, and then I put it one, and then the one didn't fade away. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> You hold it too long. Your hands are gonna burn. It's up. a hot potato. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it was hot. Oh, did you hit Carter? Yes. I stepped on him. I was like, I want you. I want you. What did you do? It's cracked. Y'all cracked them. The it's cracked. Oh. No, 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 no. Now y'all gotta eat it. Yeah, I gotta eat it now. Not the lime. <laughs>